If you are a fan of Formula One, you have probably heard the term slipstream. In this video, we will explain what slipstream means and how it impacts Formula One cars. Let's get started. Slipstream is a term that refers to how a Formula One car is impacted when two cars are racing each other on a straight. While watching a Grand Prix, you will see that on most occasions, the following car tucks in precisely behind the car in front before attempting an overtake. Visually, it seems that it would be easier to perform an overtake by being in a different line than the car in front, but this is not the case. This is due to the slipstream effect. In a racing situation, the car in front cuts a hole in the air while traveling at high speeds, creating a small vacuum-like effect just behind the car. If the following car is close, say within one second of the car in front, the overtaking driver can position his car in this vacuum created by the leading car and gain a speed advantage of up to 20 to 30 kilometers per hour, depending on the track. The chasing driver can leverage these speed gains to close in on the car in front and quickly pull to either side of the leading car to complete the overtake before braking for the corner. The slipstream effect is used in other sports as well. When world-famous marathon runner Elliot Kipchoge ran the first and only sub-two-hour marathon, he positioned himself in the center of seven pacemakers who ran in a V-shaped formation around him. The pacemakers were able to block off the air in front of Kipchoge, which helped him gain the slight edge he needed to break the two-hour barrier. Elite cyclists have also long known that shielding an athlete from the wind can make huge differences to wind resistance they face. Research has shown that riders in the middle of a peloton, a group of cyclists riding close together to reduce aerodynamic drag, can reduce the impact of wind resistance by 50 to 70 percent. Coming back to Formula One, commentators often refer to the slipstream effect as getting a toe or drafting. Teams can use the slipstream effect strategically to gain an advantage. For example, we saw in the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, Sergio Perez helped Verstappen by giving him a toe during qualifying. Verstappen was able to slipstream Perez during his hot lap and improve his qualifying lap time. During races, you might have seen that drivers weave a little bit as they drive down the straight. Weaving makes it difficult for a following driver to position his car in the slipstream. Too much weaving can lead to a warning and eventually a penalty. For example, in the 2021 Brazilian Grand Prix, Max Verstappen was given a warning via a black and white flag for weaving when trying to prevent Hamilton from overtaking him. Commentators often refer to this tactic as breaking the toe. Now let's look at how downforce impacts the slipstream. Downforce is a measure of how much vertical load is created by a Formula One car's aerodynamic surfaces. At high speeds, the downforce created by the airflow around the body of an F1 car will be far in excess of its weight. This will give the car more grip, allowing for better and faster cornering. In racing, there's a trade-off between downforce and drag. If an F1 car is set up to have more downforce, this will give the car an advantage in the corners, but increase the drag, which will reduce the car's straight line speed. When two cars are racing each other, the trailing car experiences less downforce. This is because the car in front blocks the airflow, which would typically go through the trailing car's aerodynamic surfaces. The principle is that the more air which goes through the car's surfaces, the more downforce that is created. The more downforce that is created, the more drag a car experiences. In a straight line, this gives the trailing car an advantage. The following car experiences a lot less drag than the car in front due to the reduced downforce levels. In summary, the slipstream effect is created when two cars are racing each other in a straight and the following car is positioned exactly behind the car in front. This positioning reduces the trailing car's downforce and drag and gives the car a speed advantage for overtaking. Hope this video helped you learn about Slipstream. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.